Karen Lynn. I'm um, a PhD student here at Paul. Um, I am looking at ships' figureheads, um, specifically I'm examining how the purpose and interpretation of ships' figureheads have changed from the mid-18th century to the present day in Britain. Um, so my research explores the industry that created these um, forms of sculpture and for what purpose. Um, it also um, examines the interpretation, um, the public's interpretation of figureheads and how the value um, based on them has um, increased in recent years. So the sources that I'm using um, vary considerably really from section to section. Um, in the first section, I'm looking at things like apprenticeship books. In the second section, um, I'm looking at things like uh, the Register of British Shipping. For the third section, I'm looking at the main British collections of figureheads. Um, and these are from the National Maritime Museum. Um, there's a collection here in Hull, there's one in Tresco, the Isles of Scilly, and various places like that. So the actual data that I'm creating from those sources, at the moment I'm just storing all this in um, Excel spreadsheets, but um, I mean I have thought about databases and things like that, but just kind of haven't quite got there yet. So as I said, the second section then, uh, you can see up there is the British uh, Register of Shipping, so that's just one of the sources, and um, again creating kind of lists and spreadsheets that will be analysed. Um, also, I'm looking at all of these, or well, we'll be looking at these beautiful photographs that belong to the National Maritime Museum. And the third section, I'm looking at a lot of photographs. When I'm looking at the collections, just for my own records, I photograph them and then I can um, look at them later and again look at any of the trends, the changing subjects. So I have a lot of photographs and I haven't even really started that area yet.